Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, feeling a little under the weather right now. Um, the weather in Chicago is kind of crazy. It's going from hot to cold and everything. So forgive me for the way that I sound. Forgive me for if I look real sleepy and tired. It's because I am. But I'm still going to push through. And I'm still going to make this video that I thought out for you guys. Today's video is going to be about uh, social media posts. And as real estate agents, um, I know it's very, very hard to keep up with posting on a consistent basis. It's almost like another job. You know, my wife does that for a living and I sit and watch her. And I mean, yeah, that's why, you know, brokers hire other outside agencies to keep up with this stuff for their agents because it can be difficult. But I'm going to show you a little trick today. Um, if you don't have the money right now to hire an agent uh, or agency rather to do the social media for you or you just like tackling it, tackling it yourself, um, I got a couple of tips that could help you out and um, could make you uh, build your brand a little bit more on social media. Okay, So uh, first you want to create a content calendar is what it's called and it's basically you have a blank calendar. <clears throat> excuse me, you have a blank calendar and you mark off the days of whatever month you're in. And then in each day, you're going to go ahead and create ahead of time what you plan to talk about on that particular day. Okay. Um, you definitely want to put some real estate related articles in your monthly planning, but you might not want to plan those too far ahead of time because you kind of want to keep them current. You know, if it's the 31st of December, you don't want to post an article that came out on the 1st of December. It's kind of old and people might have already seen that. So that's the only thing that I would suggest against the whole uh, pre-planning type thing. But just, you know, something to think about. You know, at least you can say, okay, on Monday, I'm going to do a real estate article. On Thursday, I'm going to showcase my open house. So things like that. So first, you want to create a content calendar. And again, it's just basically it's to help you so that when the week comes around, you can say, okay, I can do all of this. And then maybe on Sunday when you're watching the game or you're watching your favorite TV show or whatever the case is, you might can sit down and create that content calendar and you might be able to cre create the whole entire uh, content for that week. And so that way, when that day comes, all you have to do is end up posting. So, um, but let's start for one week. We're going to start on Monday. I mentioned earlier you want to create or post rather a real estate related article and you can get those from uh, the National Association of Realtors. You can get them from Realtor.com. If you have a blog like myself, you can actually showcase one of the articles that you might have wrote or that a guest blogger might have wrote. Anything that's an article that's real estate related you want to showcase that on Monday. You want to post it. You want to talk about it. Brief description of it. And then uh, post that out to the social media. And again, you can do that on Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, you can create a little uh, thumbnail for Pinterest or Instagram and so forth. Okay. Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, I like to do uh, a little hashtag that's called tip. Tuesday or Tuesday tips rather sorry about that Tuesday tips and that's just basically me um, kind of giving some tips to buyers to sellers to other real estate agents that I, I know uh, that might be struggling in a particular area such as social media and I'll just create a post and I might say you know five things to or five tips to get your Instagram followers up or something like that and then I'll create that post and post it. Um, I use the hashtag Tuesday Tips. And later on, I'm going to make a video that is strictly about hashtags. Because if you're in real estate, then you should definitely be, definitely be in Instagram. And Instagram is all about hashtags. So, um, But that's a whole other subject, a whole other video. But I'll be doing a video on hashtags uh, later on. But again, Tuesday um, hashtag Tuesday tips and then just create an article of some tips that you might think it might be interior decorated might be curb appeal it might be uh, tips to do when you're first meeting a buyer and it's your first showing whatever the case is all right Wednesday 
Um, Wisdom Wednesday is another hashtag that sometimes you will want to use. And that, again, might be a real estate related article. Um, It might be a quote um, that you want to display or that you want to showcase, a quote that might mean something special to you, um, might be able to motivate other real estate agents. And in actuality, it might be able to motivate anyone. Uh, no matter what their occupation is and that person in turn if they're not already your client they might build that might build a connection between you two and then therefore you can start communicating and so forth who knows you never know they might become a client or they might refer you to someone who may end up being your client so uh, Wednesday wisdom Wednesday is what you want to do on Wednesday real estate related article Thursday. What I tend to do on Thursday um, is I tend to start posting my real estate activity that I have going on for the weekend. And what I mean by that is that more than likely I will be doing an open house for you real estate agents who do not like doing open houses. All right, great. That's, you know, whatever floats your boat. I don't see what's the the big deal about it. I don't see why all real estate agents shouldn't be doing open houses, but if you're not, then I promise you whatever brokerage that you're at, there is someone there who will be willing to do an open house for one of your listings if you don't want to do it. So that's what I end up doing on Thursday. I end up posting an open house that I'm hosting all weekend. Saturday and Sunday, I usually um, in there and usually two, two and a half hours uh, each day. So I post that and I get that out there to the masses on social media so that they can be aware and they can start making plans and say, oh, you know, I really like this place. Let's go and visit it. Um, that open house on Saturday. OK, so that's what I end up doing. Uh, posting real estate activity. If I'm not doing an open house and let's say I'm going out with buyers and so forth, then Thursday I might just uh, I might post a selfie or I might post something personal that's going to uh, mention me going out with my buyers on uh, Saturday or the weekend rather, um, because obviously I'm not doing any open houses or anything like that. I might post a listing that we're going to see um, or something like that. So uh, Friday, Friday, I like to use uh, fun fact Friday, fun fact Friday, and that can easily be something about me. It could easily be something about uh, the world, life in general, some crazy statistic that you might have read, um, a fact about yourself that people might not know. That's really the whole point in social media is so that you can introduce yourself and people can get to know you um, on an intimate level without so much of leaving the comfort of their own home or without meeting you or you can meet someone that's all the way in Florida and you live in Chicago like I do and you never know they might be moving back to Chicago or they might be moving to Chicago whatever the case is Um, but that's really what social media is about so fun Friday or fun fact Friday is something that I tend to do I know also um, uh, a lot of people will tend to repost Um, Again, open houses or even they'll post listings. If they're not having an open house, they might post listings that they just um, put on the market to try and showcase their um, their itinerary that they might have. So you can do either way, whichever way makes uh, more sense to you or whichever way is more conducive to you. But uh, I like to do the fun fact Friday thing. Uh, Saturday. So like I mentioned on Thursday, normally on Saturday, I'm hosting an open house. And so Saturday, what I might post is pictures of the crowd at my open house. Um, I might even do a a, a selfie pic or selfie video and just do a live recording walking through my open house. You can go in there and see the pictures on the MLS, but, you know, just to be different, I might do a walkthrough and record myself before anyone gets there. And that might be the way that I showcase the open house. Um, If I'm out showing and I'm with my buyers, I might take a picture of a fantastic view of Lake Michigan or the Chicago skyline that I might see, and I'll end up posting that one. Or you can do something else that uh, another hashtag that a lot of people do. It's called Social Saturday. And again, what that does is is that that's just basically you socialize or expressing um, how you socialize. Uh, Whether it be going to get ice cream with your significant other, um, having dinner with your significant other, um, 
in Chicago, we just had snow, so it might be sledding with your kids. It might be hanging out with your friends, going to have a drink, whatever the case is. Um, again, just letting people know that side of you, um, letting them into your life a little bit so they, you know, you never know, you might have something in common. Um, if I'm at a, a hill and I'm sliding down or sledding down rather, um, you know, that person might be see that and they say, oh my God, I go to that hill. And then this thing, you know, we meet up the next time that it snows and we start talking and then they become a client of mine. Okay, so it's that simple. So that's what I use Saturdays for. Um, again, the hashtag will be a social Saturday. Okay, and then Sunday, um, I kind of do a little repeat of Saturday somewhat. Um, I go to church, so I would tend to check in at my church because, you know, sometimes people might say, oh, you go to, you know, Armitage Baptist Church. I go there too. And again, the whole connection thing. Um, so I would tend to check in there. Um, I would tend to post pictures of my open house. Um, I, I might post a fun fact or something like that. Um, but again, just Sunday is kind of a relaxed day. Um, so you just, you know, kind of post whatever it is that you're feeling. And then you start over the week again with Monday. Same thing, real estate article. Okay, so that's how you can easily keep your brand uh, growing on social media. You can have content to constantly post. Um, you know, and you can just continue to be active. Again, I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. It takes up a lot of time, but it's not impossible. You can do it. And I just share some ways that can kind of help you. You know, if you happen to be taking an Uber between showings, you can do a post right then and there, okay, while you're in the backseat and the person's driving you. So, again, some tips that I just gave you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you utilize them. I uh, hope you take heed to exactly what I was saying. Remember, look for the video about the hashtags because that is extremely important. And I'm going to do one on that and give you guys hashtags for each week. Uh, some popular hashtags that people are using nowadays that you can use on Facebook, mostly on Instagram, but you can also use them on Facebook um, as well. Okay, if you want to get in touch with me, again, as always, uh, my social media contact is in the description box below. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like the video and please leave a comment. Um, let me know if these, uh, if this social media content calendar uh, was helpful for you. Let me know if you want to see more videos about social media. I promise there will be more. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or leave the questions in the comment section. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Good night. We'll see you next time.